so happy to see you back in the next part of a learn English with Jose, and um, we are here. Okay, so let's move to the learn this box. Expression would look. Okay, we'll put the verb look. Look, maybe a bit or just, plus like plus noun or person. Example, that person, um, that that woman looks a bit like that woman looks a bit like a Cinderella. No. Hey, okay, uh, maybe may, may that. Look plus adjective. Okay, so just like she looks attractive. She looks attractive. Okay. Looks, look as, though as, though or as. If or like plus clocks. Example. Um. Um. Example, um, that woman look as a, as a beautiful woman, as like cloth. Okay, forget about it. We'll move to the exercise number four on page number ten. Um, so let's read the sentences. Exercise four. Number one, it blank. It says theater. Okay, so it is. It looks like it says theater. It looks like. Okay, so the number two, number two. The woman in the sunglasses like a pop singer or a film star. So, the woman in the sunglasses blank a, a pop singer. Pop singer is a noun. Noun or a person. So, we'll put looks like. Looks like. Because one person will only put S. We have to add S after the verb. Number three, he blank very excited. He blank very excited. All right, uh, where are we? I have to drink some water. So, um, he looks very, okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's go to number three. He blank very excited. Very excited. It describe how people feel very excited it is the adjective so it must be an adjective so it will be look only look but because he so we have to add s after the book looks very excited number four uh they blah 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 paparazzi so Paparazzi is a noun. So after before noun it must be look like. So they look like because they so we only put look like in infinitive, not s, okay? Number five, number five. Um it blank. She is signing her autograph. So she is signing her autograph. It is a class. Class. After, before the class, it is look like. Looks like. Easy, right? She, because she, so we'll only put S after it. Okay, so. Maybe we'll, uh, we, we, we know that we are correct, so. I have to admit it is 100% correct, so it is. We maybe will not don't need. Okay, so first one. This I uh, know this one is really important. It will help help you during the speaking test. 
After you have described the picture, the examiner will ask you some questions. When you answer those questions from the examiner, do not give a single sentence answer. In order to create time to think, you can use these phrases like Let me what? Let me blank that for a moment. Well, um, I blank. I have never really blank that. Um, it is difficult to blank early, really. So we have to fill in the blanks. So I will fill in for you now. First, it is let me see, let me see, let me see. Like, um, let me see. It is quite a uh, difficult problem, but I can see in the picture. Also, there is also blah 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 blah. So let me see. It is uh, it it will help help you while you are thinking of an answer to the examiner. So it will help you. So see. Also. Let me think that for a moment. Let me think that for a moment. Mm, okay. Then you tell him or her the answer. Okay. Well, mm, I suppose. Well, um, I suppose that it is. Maybe he's a cameraman. He's a TV reporter. Somewhere like that. So I suppose. Or you can also say, I have never really thought about that. I have never really thought about. Thought about that. Okay, okay. Thought about. Okay, so the last one, it will help you. It is, it is difficult to say, really. Like, um, you look at that picture, but you can, you cannot, um, you, you cannot realize what is it. So you can say it is difficult to say, really. So those phrases will help you while you are thinking of an answer to a question of the examiner. So it helps you a lot. Okay, so this has been our lesson of a learn English with say this week. I'll see you next time because maybe I think that the next two weeks I will off because there is a very huge um exam. The second uh what what is it called? What is it called? Um the second uh, examination. That is an examination next week, so I have to review the the. I have to review, revise the lessons I have learned at my work. So I'll see you the next. I'll see you after the next two weeks. Okay, and uh, I have to tell you now. I have re recorded this this lesson last week, right after I record um last week lesson lesson so i am now off i am now off i have to spend my time on revising the lesson so thank you for joining with us next week last week uh today thank you for joining with us at today's lesson uh please review 1f photo description and prepare for the next time's lesson it is the last one of unit one it is the unit one g writing an informal letter what is it about we'll find out next time on learn english we will say you can review the previous lesson i have te taught you i have told you in the previous episodes okay see you next time goodbye and good night thank you goodbye thank you for joining with us this time for magic, right?